Jeez, a terraformer. Can you ever do like two games in a row? Um, what's up, peoples? It's a terraformer, and I decided to go back to Super Mario World Odyssey. Um, 1A, so, uh, fuel supply or something, or another. Yes, I, <laughs> I don't know. I have t what is commonly referred to as GAD. It is gamers ADD, and I. Yes, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I always end up playing different things, so I, I don't know, um, I just, yes, I don't know, I, I was watching a video, and, I don't know, I think I was, I saw somebody playing later stages, and it was kind of interesting me, so, I decided to take off on this stage, which, um, I, I don't know, I guess I thought was longer, didn't have a midpoint or something, but it does. It has both, but, you know, it has length and width and diameter and circumference and hooray for math. And, <laughs> and, um, yes, yeah, so it's only like four rooms. It's not even like that bad. I was definitely making it out to be, yes, those are cool. Those little droughty things. That is cool to see. Yes, um, this actually took me a long time to edit because Camtasia is just a dumb I, I, I cannot see paying $300 for a software that just utterly... It, you pretty much go to fast forward a selection, a section of thing, and I know how to, like, you know, crop it and everything, so... It should not affect the rest of it, but just sometimes, sometimes it won't, and you have to pretty much, you know, uh, make it into a new project, and like, somehow then it doesn't work, I don't know, it doesn't fast forward, and then, hey, poof, you <laughs> save it to ABI, and then you put it into the other project, but I, I just, I, that seems like too much work to fast forward of something, I don't know, I... I don't know. I guess I just <laughs> expect things to work uh, my way or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess if I was designing a program, which I cannot, I, I do not have the skill in C++ or whatever. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not very good at programming, but I would just design it a certain way. But, you know, it's... I, I, I don't know, maybe that is something I should think about doing, but, I don't know, we got this layer 2 going on, and I have utterly not been talking about this at all, and that's, yes, that has <laughs> come to be surprise and expected, I guess, um, lots of waiting going on too, so, not a whole lot going on on screen, except, like, futuristic action, and, I don't even think we hit the midpoint yet, so if you die, I think I died about here on a previous playthrough of it. Um, yes, there was like two failed re uh, yeah, actually it was, I had the recorder on, so it was like two failed recordings, I guess, but it wasn't like I was commentating or anything, so it was no big deal. Hey, come down here, I was thinking those things at the roof up there were really like hurtful, but they weren't. So, that was good for me, because I don't like doing that jump, but it is a jump sometimes you have to do, and I don't know why we went back to one at the end of there, but yes, we're at three with a midpoint, so we got this cargo place, cargo place, ah, Mario, it's so nice to see you again, I hope you like my new nightmare base, it may be the last thing uh, you ever see. Uh, Bowser, ain't that great? I like that switch. That's a cool switch. I, yes, switch our cool custom stuff. Graphics and code. Things happening on screen, and we got a flying section. So this is like always fun. Um, I actually in the video saw this, and I was like, okay, so I just stay up here, and I do. I wasn't high enough, but I was able to dodge stuff when it came. So I was like, oh, we'll dodge that up. It's going to dodge past you too, so everything was safe. I show off a little by accident because I was actually very scared, and that's why I'm playing all slowly right here. I was like, oh man, I was flying too much. I was flying dangerously and could have fubbed. 
could have fubbed and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then, um, it's like I have the power of the cape so I can just slow this down and make all my reflexes happy. And you know, you know, keep all my hits. So, this is not even a problem when I need you again in future level context because, you know, got this shaft we're going down, we got to get back up it. What's the quickest way up? To fly. And exactly in the wrong direction, like, at least once. And then on each floor. That's usually... <coughs> That is usually the express method of progress, which, yes, I, if you hadn't noticed, that's exactly what I described. I, just kind of doing things, kicking Koopas around, you know, I don't know. Doing this like it was a small platform, just practicing, just practicing. No, I, I don't know why I did, I did that. I, and I, I kind of just disintegrated that guy by walking into him because I was like... I was like spin jumping on top of him and also previously grabbing him, but with YouTube's like cut a clip thing, it happened and looked like that, so that's pretty cool. And for like 10 minutes now, you will watch me play with this P-Switch, and it is utterly useless. Its only purpose in the level was for possibly extra coins and some, you know, that last coin special Yoshi thing. But, you know, I'm not collecting them here for whatever reason, but, you know, I, I thought it was just so important to keep this P-Switch, but it, it really, really wasn't. Really. Really it wasn't, because right here, and then I, I do something like that, I guess that was kind of interesting, but geez, six and uh, over half a minute into a video, and we're finally getting past the first level. Hooray. We're reading, as my voice is like going out for no reason. The story so far. <coughs> Mario re Mario's rescue mission has taken an unexpected turn with the sudden appearance of a massive metallic fortress. And yeah, this would probably be before what has just team teaming with armed tr troopers. Troopers. The ship is obviously one of Bowser's evil creations, and something else I didn't get to read. Oh well. Um. Yeah. I. It's like because then you do a level, and then you'll see. But one V service corridor thing. Yep, we got a tight enclosure, which could be worse, honestly, especially with some of the design in the later levels, if they <laughs> were incorporating with, yes, it could have been a lot worse, but this level isn't too bad either. I actually do pretty good through the first three stages, and then I decided to continue on, and that's where I had to make my cut, because that's where all the editing was happening, so, you know. It's pretty, well, like a little ted, tidbit, tid, tidbit, <laughs> tidbit into the, um, yes, the process of making this video, the creation, this, this just didn't form out of nothing, I, I wasn't received this into my, um, my Camtasia file bin, I, I didn't just stumble upon it one day, I had to, you know, make it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I did something there. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm just spamming fireballs everywhere. That's pretty neat. It's a, it's a good strategy, I guess. Yeah, strategy. I love that. That is really cool. Mario, Mario, can you hear me? It's me, Yoshi. Currently hiding in storage room on level 3. Okay, Yoshi. I'll be there in a sec. 84. So that's a 84 or 88. I can't tell. I go in the store. Uh, there might have been stuff to the right, but I didn't see it. <laughs> this <laughs> this game has multiple paths. I don't know. I don't know, but sometimes there's paths going on, and I only take one, and it's like uh, there is another one. But you know, I, I think I've I may have articulated that. You may have knowledge. I don't know. You may not have seen the video, I have no idea which video I said it in anyway, but yes, yes. Um, those things at the bottom, the electrical things, they are monsters. Just figured I'd point that out there as I don't think I've touched them on camera, but you know, I've certainly touched them. They've said hello, and they're in fact exactly reacting as monsters, so I'm gonna guess to say that they're graphical changes of them. Let's 
see Earth in the background. Pretty cool. Or whatever Mario planet that is, but I'm guessing it's like, you know, a low res or something of Earth to fit into a... Whatever Lunar Magic takes, I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of 16-bit thing. Graphics. Uh, mine is I more auditorial in that sense, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but it certainly isn't the game. I I was there was a I could have went to the left and just went around it. I think that jump would have been possible, but I didn't. I just kind of took the hit, and you know that was what I did. Hello, Koopas. Just gonna burn you. Oh, that's a pretty cool ghost reskin going on. He's a little robot guy. He said hello, and I stomped on his face. So we had a nice time meeting, and then I left with haste. And he was sad because, you know, who knows? He might not be seen again. I don't know. Maybe we'll be in a ghost house the next time we're in this style of usage of graphics, whatever it's called. And, Lunar Magic because, yeah, you have to, like, select which tile set, and then I always like when it's mixed in other places, but, you know, it's, you gotta put effort into actually changing it, <laughs> some, I don't always want to put in that effort, so, Bowser has found a way to time travel using something called a Sphere of Light. He plans to send his, this fortress into the past so he can zip Okay, Yoshi. I don't know. That was a Yoshi voice, I guess. It was more prominent in that <laughs> dialogue, I guess, but it wasn't it was probably not good either time, but oh well. That is not my I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just talking. I have like another like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen minutes. Telepad. Another, the, the, like, uh, it's like one after another with a bright flash and a loud snap. Mario is suddenly whisked off to the ship and thrown 200 years into the past. Teetering on a rocky high cliff in the sky, Mario decides to seek assistance. He spots a treehouse inhabitant of the mushroom toad peoples. Yeah, uh, they are just too close together in the village of the sun, and yes. I actually had an idea where, like, it was, like, floating ice platforms going by in the sky with this music and spikes and stuff. <laughs> it was a level design I had in mind, but I never made it because that's usually what happens. Hi there, where did you come from? I thought the sky lift was still damaged from the recent attack. Has it been repaired already? Oh, I... yes. I guess so. We... Use something of sorts, so maybe that's what he was talking about. I don't know. This level's pretty neat, and you need to find a key, which is pretty good. I found it the first time through because I would have had to redo the level, and that would have not been fun, especially since it's not like I died or anything. I just forgot to go get something, and that's what I did there. I was like, you know what, I wanted to check what's down here, and it was really good I did, and I was like, uh, what's down you? I don't want to die, so I'll go in here, and what's in here? Here's another guy, but something else. Sorry, friend, the gate to our world was sealed shortly after the turtles arrived. I have a key, but... I, oh, oh, toadstools, where did I put that key? Well, I was like, I saw that vet up there, and I was like, I was going to check it out anyway, but then I, I was like, hello, and then I wanted to show off the key, because that's a pretty neat key. That's a cool key graphic that is very original, yes, and realizing that that hasn't been shown, I don't think, I, I guess I could be forgetting, it's been a while since I've played the other levels, so... Yes, and in the LP I was watching, I only saw after what I did, so... Yep, 
looks pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. It looks pretty difficult, and some of the stuff I will get into even today is pretty difficult. And over here I do something, and then I was like, hey, hey, waiting for this, and I was like, I should go back down for no reason. And then the platform says goodbye. So I had to respawn that platform, and I did a jump like that, and that didn't do it, but it looked pretty cool. And falling asleep screen, cool. And yes, <laughs> I did something, okay, I, I already spawned it back, and voila, I just gotta, you know, wait here and not be hasty. I was being too hasty, and sometimes that is not the intended method. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Gotta jump over those guys there, do some sort of thing, because you will get hit otherwise. I should have just tried, but I didn't, but <laughs> anyway, there is the goal, there's the goal, pretty cool, I think so, and Candy Hills, and we made the transition, and there was zoom engine involved, because something, I don't know, welcome to Cotton Swips, uh, tourist info, 3 miles, Candy Hills, 14 fit, bridges out ahead, watch yourself, I have no idea, but it, it looked cool, so, okay. <laughs> So I was like, I'm gonna be the collector today. I don't know why I got my collector hat on. Actually, some of the like the, the tile sets and some uh, and like here and outside, like the the hills especially, not these, not the brown ones, but the other ones. Uh, they remind me of the hack Tales of Elementia by Super Tales, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where Super Tales got his inspiration from, as this hack was predated by a few years or something. So I don't know. Hello. Um, <laughs> I died stupidly to that guy, which you see is not a one-time thing, because I, you know, do it again right there, because, yeah, I, I felt like it. I was like, I hadn't showed anything off yet, so why not? This is not a task. I do die sometimes, so, you know, I just figured I'd show that off, because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And if, it was, if this was a test, this would be like the, the slowest test ever because I, I usually do futz around. I don't, yes, I don't always like rush around. I sometimes I do. It depends on how many times I've played said levels, usually. <laughs> Usually, if I'm dying a lot, I will try and get to the point where I died last as quick as possible, but if not, I'm usually exploring. So yeah, I, I thought that was like death, this chocolate water under there. I thought it was death, so I thought it was hot chocolate, but no, it is just cold chocolate. I don't know, cold chocolate beverage that you can swim in, and I don't think you'd want to drink if people and things were swimming in it, but, you know, you know, had a death there, had a death there, and, you know, you know, it's, a <laughs> it's starting to get, um, long playing them back, and here I utterly just fail on a bonus room, so I get a whole one or two lives, one or two, maybe just, just one, yes, yep, just one. <laughs> That was a poor excuse at bonusing, and I should've just went left, because you know what? That's where the midpoint is. <laughs> Why would you put the midpoint there? A order for Bowser, send this ship into the past. He needs five light spears. You already have one, you must not let him find the rest. And I don't know why it didn't fill in that little orb in the top right hand corner, because that'd be pretty cool. And then I realized what I have to do. And like, I don't want to do that, there's a lot of munchers involved, like, you got one pixel things, and I, uh, that was scary. <laughs> and that football just attacked me for no reason, it was just out of nowhere, and I guess this is the winning run, hey.
So, yeah, back here. I'm gonna go to the bottom path, so it's not like I'm just not doing anything. Oh, here is when I find out that that is indeed water down there, but it's not very good water. It's like... Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> it is not translucent. That is scary. I I like to see where my Mario is when I'm in the water because I don't want to drown on occasion, which I didn't. But you know, it happens when I'm not paying enough attention and stuff, and not getting that. Um, okay, so I'm going over there, and oh man, there's a cutoff, and you can see Mario's head. It's actually a good thing because you can see where you are, so using the glitch to your advantage is pretty good to know. And midpoint, you know, I don't know why you'd put it there place, but you know, it's, it's there, and that happened, and yes, there's just a little dead end going on there, that's pretty cool. Check out that dead end, that, that, um computer falling asleep, he wanted to see the dead end, so it's pretty cool personifying things that are like... <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a stretch. <laughs> anyway, we have lots of munchers in this section. I don't know why, but... Uh, yeah, like, sure, okay, that's... That's, I mean, it, it wasn't, like, too bad, I mean, it's definitely doable, and I, and all this clicking and s coin collecting going on, I'm not collecting coins, I'm, I think I'm pressing the L and R buttons, because you can't scroll the screen, and possibly, maybe they have usage later, I don't know, but that's the sound it makes, but it's kind of hard to believe I was hitting all of them that many times without noticing, so or without reason, at least, either, but I don't know. Maybe it was something else, but I thought I was, like, losing time or dying, and I was kind of scared, but, you yeah. know, yeah, like, uh, need it to die, because, I don't know. These guys had to go, too. Sorry, Koopas. Sorry, Koopas. I was very scared. I did not want to die for whatever reason. I, I think I forgot I had the midpoint or something, or maybe I just didn't want to die anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I just figured waiting was the best solution here. Best solution ever. And we got this. We got this. We got this. And this doesn't go very well for me. And I don't remember why, but it doesn't go too well in my favor. And that was the reason why. Wow, that music sounded epic, but this commentary has been bland. Brought to you by a terraformer. And, yeah, <laughs> I was just hoping and praying, and I knew it was going to work because I've seen it work, but, yes, um, that this wouldn't be in regular speed because, yeah, how many times I saw that with fast forward for no reason at all. Because I, I just, like, move a move the file over, I'd like move it to the end and try it over there, and then I'd move it over, like, I I'd have the file, the, the section over there fast forwarded, and then, I'd, then the, this section would be fine, 
and uh, move it to be before this, and then this would be fast forwarded. Now, why that happens, I have no idea. It makes no sense at all, but yeah, it happens, and it happened to me for a while, and at least I know when I see that, I just like kind of do something else. I don't know. <laughs> I put it so, like, it, it's, it's so kind of obtuse what you have to do, but, oh well. Oh well, at least it saves it, and I can make it look the way I want it to, and, you know, relative, not, like, recording sections over and stuff, because that would be dumb, but, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I believe I die here. Yep, I just said hello to that guy. I was like, hello, touch, touch dead. And I do that that time, so a little bit more smarter. A bit smarter, or probably the best solution, maybe. I don't know. If you like the spin jump, if you're into that kind of things and stuff. And it really sucks that the music is all vanilla. That is, like, the one thing hindered in it, I think. I think, like, a lot of its level design is pretty neat, and I think that I'm bonking my head way too many times. But, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty neat little pack. I think it's, like, 20 exits or something. Something about that should take me, uh, only, like, two, three videos or so. I don't know. Sorry, pal. I cleaned the coins out of here years ago. I'll, um, but tell you, uh, wow, do you like my quiet cave? And yes, I do. I thought that was pretty neat if I could actually, like, read things, but it's also cool because I'm, like, right near a power-up where I can, like, double grab power-ups, and I did quite a few times because, you know, I, I hate to say it, but this is not the winning run. I, I had, like, cut into a part so you can tell that it was not the winning run because... I'm trying to remember to fast forward all of them, but sometimes I miss one or two or something stupid, but, you know, it, you know, happens, I guess, and that was like a failed attempt at throwing a shell at guys, but, you know, it happens, lots of arrows, lots of arrows, lots of these platforms, this is kind of a cool, neat little section, I guess. Looks, looks nice. Looks nice indeed, I think so. We're outside, and it's growing, and this part's fun. This part's a part, and there's no midpoint, and warning, flying is strictly prohibited behind this point. Unauthorized capes will be confiscated. I'm guessing right there, it's like a section of sprites that will power you down to there. I really like these. <laughs> they get all sad face and then they go bye bye. Like, hey there guy, jump on me. Oh no, you're kinda heavy. Oh I'm getting kinda weaker. Ah I'm gonna fall. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting weaker. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Those guys are cool. But you gotta know, you gotta know something there. You might not be on your toes and remembering, um, jump on that guy. And I have a shell for some reason. Don't kill the, the bullet there because you kind of need to jump on him. Again, and again. Got lots of these. Got lots of these. Pretty cool. And I went on these a bit too slow, so, or a bit too not waiting, so, a bit too fast. Yeah. That's where I decided to lose my life there. And life farming had to ensue, but not really, because I really only did was go back a level, find out that you cannot go back to any previous land of this hack before the, you know, the big machine comes in. I don't know why that is, and it's really unpleasant, but, you know.
Yep, so back here, and actually gonna do it this time, and yeah, this video was kind of a downer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I wish I could do better, but the time being, that guy's utterly pointless, I don't know why you're there, Mr. Ninji, you're a ninji, don't say otherwise. Uh, get rid of that green guy. I don't like when you have the green guy hop because green guys, they just keep going and they don't come back and you can lose a green guy and if you can't do anything about the screen, like in this hack, well, you know, you know, that's something. And I got here and I was so scared and I saw this and I was like, oh god, I really don't want to have to do this again, but I showed off my dodging skills and I, I victoried it up, so, yep, 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 that's how I did it, that's how I did it, that's all I did, but I did a lot, so that was good, and next time we will take on Tall Rock Springs, and yeah, it's my first video unemployed, so, that might sum up the, yes, surmise the amount of non-enthusiasm, I guess.